Welcome back to Three Talks Redox Week of Herbal Wellbeing. We're coming to you from the Tanda Private Game Reserve in KwaZulu Natal, and we're talking about emotional wellbeing. We're now joined by Liz Cunningham, a life coach who's going to explain more about emotional wellbeing. Welcome, Liz. Thanks so much for joining us. What, what do you understand by emotional wellbeing? Nolene, emotional well-being is that space within us that we feel when life is running smoothly, when our, our energy for life feels balanced and we have a sense of calm and ability to take whatever life throws at us. Now how do I know that I've reached that stage? Well I think what, what is so evident is when we're not in that place, when, when we're feeling jangled and irritable and frustrated and alternatively where our energy for life is just running way out of control um, and it feels like everything is difficult and our relationships are, are emotional and um, irritable with our, the people in our world. So it's very easy to recognize when things aren't running smoothly. Um, and really what emotional well-being is about. The first stage of emotional well-being is being able to recognize what patterns are in play. So, so often we find people living life subconsciously, just busy doing what they have to do every day and not really being aware of what it is that is triggering their responses to different situations. So the first step of emotional well-being is, is actually to be able to recognize when what we call our gap is closing. Let's just look at, uh, you know, uh, there's something that I read that you, you connect people back to who they are. How do, how do you do this? It's a journey. And, and the first part of that journey is to, to help people to see what patterns they have, without even realizing it, got, pl got sucked into. So often we work, we're working with adults, primarily with adults, and we ask them, how have you got to this point? Whose idea of life are you living? And what we find in almost 80% of the, of, of the times is that people get to a point and they, and they realize, I don't actually know who I am anymore. So what we do is we create the space for people to reconnect with that in themselves. So it really is a journey and the journey starts with self-awareness once mm. again. Recognizing that for most of us we get sucked into societal patterns that say this is the way it's done. You go to school, you, you go to varsity, you get a job. And the moment we get a job the first thing we do is we try to fit in to that context um, and and we put a lot of energy into trying to be what that environment needs us to be but if, if that's the case then you can't have emotional well-being can you that's the beginning of the separation from emotional well-being because in order to get the recognition that we we strive for and um, for to build our self-esteem um, or to build our self-confidence, we look at the environment that we're in and we say, what do I need to be? Who do I need to be? What mask do I need to wear in order to get the feedback from this environment that mm. says, I'm okay. Then how do I reconnect with that self? How do I begin to foster that relationship with myself, which is going to ultimately lead me to mm. emotional well-being? One of the things that that, that one can do very easily is take two pieces of paper and on the one piece of paper head it up love it and on the other piece of paper head it up loathe it and whatever you're doing in, in a week over a two week period whatever you're doing just do it with the awareness am I loving this or am I hating it and just make a note of all the activities in the day whether it be at work or at home make a note of everything that you love and everything that you loathe. And at the end of that two week period, have a look at those lists. Because what's that, what's that, what that is going to start doing for one is creating awareness around the activities and the things that you do that actually energize us. Because when we do what we love, we feel great. We feel emotionally fantastic. When we do what we love, we are energized. When we do what we love, time flies. Liz, how do I manage stress on a daily basis? Nolene, I think the starting point is to recognize what are the, the triggers that actually cause the stress in the first place. And we feel it straight away in our body. So recognize 
how it feels when we're being stressed by things that don't threaten our lives. And the moment we recognize that, we have the choice then to be able to choose a different response to those situations. Thank you so much, Liz, for joining us. More on emotional well-being brought to you by Redox after the break.